G'day fellas and welcome to a casted game. Spawning on the west side of the map, playing as the pink Abbasid dynasty, we've got what? That is correct. We've got what playing as the Abbasid today and uh, opening us up with a mill, a house and a lumber camp. So a bit of an interesting build order here. Not going for that stock standard Abbasid build order that you do love to see. Uh, over on the east side of the map, playing in the teal on the French. It's the Don Donati. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a ranked ladder game at the moment where we're just, we're watching, we're witnessing, we're waiting to see what the Don is going to throw down. You guys know Don. He's a little bit of a pioneer when it comes to playing Age of Empires. I've been, I've been playing with Don since the, the days of Age of Empires 3. And one of the things that always struck me about Don Arty was his creativity. He was just always on another level when it came to the creativity. Just thought outside the box a lot more than other players. So I'm wondering whether we're going to see something today from Don, whether we're going to have a bit of creativity. But opening it up with a lumber camp here at the beginning, a bit of an interesting decision. Now, the reason why we do see this lumber camp here is just simply because of this mill. So with this mill coming out, obviously the gather rate here for the berries is going to be a little bit faster than sheep. And as a result, it means that Watt is looking to try and capitalize on that civilization bonus here for the Abbasid Dynasty. Uh, some build orders, you do see the Abbasid Dynasty look to go for uh, sheep underneath the town center instead of going for the mill opening. It's a little bit of a time saver. I, I, would, I would argue that it's definitely a time saver. Uh, but to obviously, you're going to need to drop a mill eventually. You're going to need to get that wheelbarrow eventually. And we do begin to see uh, the scouts crossing over looking towards the the opposite sides. We'll take a look over at how Don's doing at the moment. It's going to be the classic eight villages on... Oh, God, nine villages on gold on uh, food, two villages on gold. This is something I haven't seen before. Normally, what do you see normally? I think it's the, the seven and three. Is that what you see? Seven uh, seven vills on food, three on, on gold, and then vills moving over to, to food or to wood, rather. Is that what you normally see? I'm not sure for the French, uh, but we'll, we'll pay attention because I, it definitely seems like nine villages on food might be a bit overkill. Don going to be rallying out to uh, to to uh, <laughs> to his woodline now. And speaking of woodlines, look at this beautiful woodline Don Hardy's got. In fact, this is probably one of the best bases you can get when it comes to this map. When it comes to Altai, so basically a wall here, a wall here, and then what? You know, a, a wall here. Can you imagine playing China like Barbican right here? Wall, wall. Oh my lord! You wouldn't see your neighbor or your your neighbor, your enemy <laughs> for a few damn days. That's for sure. But we'll check over on. The other side of the map. We'll see how Watt's doing, what he's up to. You guys get what I'm talking about. It is Watt. He's going to be dropping down that House of Wisdom now. We do see that uh, he's going to be connecting to the network. He's got that mining camp up. So almost enough resources here. But it's it's a little bit late when it comes to these timings. You know, it takes an, an hour and 45 minutes. It takes a minute and 45 seconds to actually get that age up through. And so here we're going to see that that age up is going to come through. You know, th this is a decent timing. We're, we're talking... What is this? This is close to five minutes. That's a pretty damn late age up, especially when you've got to consider you're playing up against the French. French love to go for that early aggression, but now over in the base of Don. <laughs> oh, Don Artie. Oh, Don Artie. You know, there's always something up this guy's sleeve. I I'm, I'm genuinely impressed that it's the Chamber of the Co of Commerce here in the corner that he's, he's dropping. Normally what you actually see players do is just go like the Chamber of Commerce here and just instead drop a market in the corner. But he's actually dropping the landmark in the corner. So I guess that remains a little bit secret. Now, this landmark has been buffed up in the most recent patch. And it is actually working. <laughs> when I say buffed up, I shouldn't say it. You know, okay. <laughs> Age of Empires 4 released uh to the world back in was it november last year i think november or, or maybe october last year something around then and ever since then this landmark has quite literally done nothing it's literally done nothing it's it's meant to give 30 percent more of any resource it was it once upon a time was gold but even then, <laughs> even then it didn't give the 30 percent it was literally bugged it, it was a market it was quite literally a landmark that was a market that was it it did nothing else uh so don's looking to take advantage of the fact that this landmark can now be used as more than just a market and is going to begin trading uh, interestingly we see him walling up as well over on the sides of the map so i suspect if his enemy looks to try and do a bit of damage that uh, he's going to be caught off guard interestingly what is not really scouting out uh, ooh, excuse me not really scouting out don and almost chasing don we can see that he, he's he's almost he's almost a hundred percent certain that don is going to be doing some sort of raid scouting him or not even going to scout him he's just playing blind he's going for the early racks and you know what against french 
I say that that is a perfect play, what? I, I say that there is no reason at all that you should suspect anything different is going to be coming out. You should not suspect that there is, is going to be an absence of knights here because I, I can tell you what, 99 times out of 99 times, you're going to be seeing a knight in the French base. Unfortunately, it's that 100th, 100th time that we didn't even calculate for where Don decides to do something a little bit different. So we've already got our very first trader beginning and Don's going to mark it, march it rather all the way across the map. Interesting position here for the markets, but look, they'll find their way, the traders along that edge of the map. So let's talk a little bit about what Don's doing and why you should do what Don Artie does. So Don is doing a secret trade strategy that I often talk about whenever trade comes up. So this market here, this is going to be his home market. You can see right there, that's a rally point. Uh, but if we select on these little guys, they've got the option to set a home market. Where is it? Right there. There it is. Home market. So what Don's going to do is he's going to drop down these markets over in this corner and he's going to click them like this and he's going to hold down shift and he's going to right click this market and what that's going to do is that's going to make it so that whenever any trader come out comes out rather it's going to set that as their home market and then he's going to shift click back over to the trade post and so what that does is the traders come out here you can see the trader comes out it sets its home market over here and then it says okay what's my next command my next command is to pick up gold and pick up gold it does 221 gold coming in and you can see the difference here between these two now obviously th this only really works once uh, and the reason why I say it only works once is because you only have to make this trip uh, once from the, all the uh, all the way over on this other side of the map. But look at the time it's taken already for Don to get the trader out here. He he is subsequently you know gone for uh, a, a pretty big trade boom here with triple markets, which is going to get scattered out. In fact, we can see what sort of searching for the landmark. He's like, hold on a minute, that that's Don Artie I'm up against here. I'm not up against some pleb. You know wh where are the knights? What's going on? Spearman just chilling out on the berries. It's a bit of a, a long distance berry gathering right there. Well, I think we do have wheelbarrow in. Indeed, we do. So not going to be too much of a problem. He's going to be able to go up to 18 on those bad boys before he takes them in. You can see the, there's the berries getting dropped off now. But Scout still looking. It's still searching. He's like, where's, just, where's the age up? What, what's, what's going on? Get it? Because his name's what? But Don going to start walling up. Going to prevent his enemy from scouting him out. We see the Scout moving around, heading down towards this eastern position. And Don looking good at this point in time. We'll check in with him and see how the traders are doing. He's up to five at the moment. Uh, these are kind of rookie numbers, Don. You got to be... You, these are rookie numbers. You got to you got to amp these bad boys up. Now, what else is Don doing? Because he's stacking up a lot of resources, but not really doing much with it. Uh, typically, at this point in the game, you would see like a million traders out. So Don a little bit behind. We'll take a look over at our Abbasid players. The second town center is going to begin coming down. And it looks like you might be thinking about going into a castle age. So with five villagers moving out to gold... Pretty standard timing for your castle agent. He's just going to continue rallying all of his villagers, hopefully, to food. Because he won't need any more than that on gold. But now that scout could be running through. And uh-oh, it finds out the problem. And the problem is indeed not what Borat said. It is rather the scouts. Scout's going to be able to spot this out. And immediately we begin to see the spearmen moving across the map. And Don's going to be on the defensive at this early stage. But I, or I, I love what Don has done in that he uses the... The, the known aggression. It's not the aggression of the French, but rather the suspected aggression. You know, you get up against the French in the lobby, you see them age up at 4 minutes and 16 seconds, you're like, okay, here comes the night, it's gonna come soon, don't worry, here it comes. And then it never comes, and you're waiting for it, and you build up 6 spearmen, and you're like, where's the knights? What's this guy doing? Okay, he must be going fast castle, and, and then you see the traders, and you're like, mm, this is not good. This is not good. No, this is not good, what? This is not good. But at least he's got the double town center to uh, to at least go with, to, to go with it. So let's say you're playing your game. You're playing on our side. You're playing in this matchup. You're playing as the Abbasid. And you spot your enemy is doing this trade boom. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? That is a great question. Here is your answer. I, I would recommend that you go for... Did Don intentionally leave this open? I think... Don didn't realize that this is open. Uh, and so they're going to they're gonna be able to come in. A little bit of havoc caused early. Uh, I would be going for a third town center. And then I would be going for Castle Age. Uh, that, that is my recommendation. I'd be looking probably do some Castle Age push, uh, but you, you need to be very cognizant that it is highly likely that uh, what Don's enemies, or what, what Don is going to be doing is going for that Castle Age timing push with the Royal Institute. But now he's going to be in a bit of trouble. We see archers coming through. He's absolutely population blocked, working towards that Castle Age. Now, I, I would be very surprised if I saw a guild hall come out from him as those, uh, as those, those archers move to try and take down the spearmen. You can see them. Oh my lord, they slaughtered that trader. What, what? What was that damage? 
What are they? Do they get bonus? Ooh. Oh, oh, because it's a, it's cavalry. Oh, it's cavalry. Oh my lord, they they murder it. Oh, I didn't even realize the spearmen one shot it. Oh, poor Donati. No, not like this. Not like this. No, 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 not the wolf. Get away, Warwick. Damn, dude. I didn't realize those things murder. Wow. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Scout at the moment still chilling. One of them does go down. Don's still doing a little bit of a boom. He's got six traders at the moment. Unfortunately, not, not big numbers. Looks like it is going to be the guild hall. Kind of weird to be going guild hall when you're, when you're doing trading. But uh, look, each to their own. Can Don make the trade work? That's going to be the question. Because now, what do we think about the third age as well? It's going to be the culture wing from him. Still no third town center at all. But he's going to be looking to outscale Don. 45 villagers at the moment for what? Compare that over to Don, who's on 46. How is Don on more villagers despite losing so many to the Spearmen? That was insane. I couldn't believe they did that much damage. I, I Honestly, I thought it was a bug. I'm like, th these guys these guys aren't cavalry. They're donkeys, right? Like, have a look at this. There's no way that's a cavalry, is it? Is that really a horseman? I've been through the desert on a horse with no... It's a horse. It's a horse. I didn't realize. I honestly thought they were donkeys. Hold on. Does it have? A, does it play a sound? It doesn't have a sound. It's, it's just the lady. It's just the lady. So I, I'm, I'm going to go with it's a horse. It is technically cavalry. So look, either way, it is, it is something that is going to get countered by those spearmen. Bit of an overchop coming through. Don does indeed work, work that that wall was... Uh, unfortunately open he lost a lot of a lot of problems or a lot of things from that do we have a fast imperial coming through no we don't okay it's just gonna be a whole bunch of knights uh interestingly from what decides to avoid training units in that uh, that period typically you do s oh no that, that's uh, that's what's perspective typically you do see abyssid players look to try and train a bit of trash units in that transition period just because you can't really rush your age up you're stuck at that 145 it's a long time to go without making units, and you can see that's reflected now in the amount of uh, in the amount of uh, of resources he's got in the bank. Scout's gonna be chasing away the scouts from uh, from his opponent. We'll ride on board with Don and see how he does. Still more traders coming in at this point in time. Now, I, I think your early traders, you almost certainly want to be making from your markets immediately close to your trade post. But I think later on in the game, you can make them from the Chamber of Commerce in the corner here, because the reality is is that you're only gonna be getting you're only missing one half trip. So it's not a big deal. Ideally, you're just you're just all about the trades, baby. That's all you care about. But now, it seems that what is going to begin walling in Don. We can see walls beginning to drop down on both sides of the map. And slowly but steadily, we work towards that question and look to answer it. Is, is the Chamber of Commerce a meme? Or is it actually no longer a dream? Because... The Chamber of Commerce has been a meme for a long time. You know, if, if you were ever playing against somebody and looking a meme against them, you drop down the Chamber of Commerce. It was a little bit BM, but perhaps the days are gone where you go for the BM Chamber of Commerce. Perhaps you don't do it. I remember watching one game. It was it was quite literally the the some of the the lowest rated players in the world. We saw Chamber of Commerce come out there. I don't think Don's one of those players, but I do think Don has got the the potential uh, creativity that those players may have had. Don could be looking to try and break down some of these lances. You can see he's taken out three already. This is pretty big losses coming out for Watt already. Don going to be moving back with the Ublatria. Trying his best to hold on right on board with him as the archers begin to move forward. He's going to be careful, though. The horsemen, together with those lances, going to be dishing out plenty of damage. You can see them beginning to focus down. No armor coming through just yet for them. Don with no upgrades either. He's getting the plus one through at the moment. Spearman going to be making their way to the top side. And that is what you want to avoid. Don, unfortunately, going to be... Oh, it's not going to be pretty, is it? Oh, those spearmen. Don't they do so much damn damage? One trader goes down. Two trader goes down. Three traders probably going to be going down right here as well. You know what? If he, Yeah, he, he just keeps walking up the line. This is so smart coming out from what right now. Third one goes down. Fourth one going to come down. All these traders just carrying so much gold as well. Fifth one coming down. I feel like for Don, the best thing you could have done is just run your traders, you know, like run them up here or something like that. At least, yeah, sure, they lose their loads, but hey, at least you kill them all. Oh, my lord. Or rather, at least you keep them all. But, uh, I mean, not a terrible trade there for what? What is sitting on 66 villagers compared to Don on 63. Obviously, some of those are traders. On, on 13 at the moment. So he's looking to make trade work. You know, it's one of those classic stop trying to make trade work. He's actually got no villagers on gold. And I like the fact that he's gone for this early. Now, if there's any other civilization that can actually get away with trade on this map... It's the Abbasid dynasty. I was also going to say the Mongols, potentially. Uh, you could you could do it as the Mongols because of that, that double trade bonus that you do get. Uh, but the Abbasid dynasty as well have access to some really good trade technologies of obviously Grand Bazaar, which increases 
your resources by 25%. I also got armored caravans and giving an extra bit of armor there so you don't have to muck around with those spearmen. And then of course, spice roads, which increases the gold income from traders and trade ships by a further 30%. So it's a really great way to play as the Abyssin Dynasty. But unfortunately, you don't really see it coming out that much. But Archer Mass beginning to build now for Don. I'm expecting to see a Manganel or two coming out on the other side of the map. We'll have to wait and see what what is getting up to. What what in the butt? <laughs> what what in the butt? Uh, what what? Yeah, we're waiting to see what what is going to get up to. <laughs> oh my lord, I'm in a whole world of hurt over here. What holding it down in the middle? Lantern numbers coming out despite the fact that there is a significant amount of arbitrary out as well. Plus one economic upgrades coming in for what? For what? <laughs> for, for what? What? What is it good for? All right, that's enough. Oh, man, we, we should have changed Watt's name or something like that. That, that is a tough name. But uh, Don continuing to move forward and just really going, sticking with the archers. I love the fact that his enemy is going complete cavalry or almost complete cavalry. And he's still like, yeah, I'm still just going to do archers. Does Don not realize that, you know, with the new patch, you can see th these are veteran horsemen. They've got an extra pierce armor. So that means that they're taking one less damage. You stack up plus one and then plus two on top of that. They're taking five ranged damage less than what what you would normally take if you had no armor. But uh, it's a fair amount. But now those horsemen are going to be trying to break through on the south side up towards the north side. We also see lancers or knights. Yeah, those are lancers. Those are lancers. We'll let them get away with it. We see those lancers getting away. But horsemen, unfortunately, going to get caught out and out of position here. A whole bunch of arbitrary are going to be coming in here. Spearmen, nowhere to be seen. Instead, it's just going to be a couple of horsemen that uh, managed to take out those scouts and get a little bit of a charge off up towards the north. Arbitrary and archers continue moving forward. Knights looking to break through. What just been targeting down the, this trade line non-stop. Don Idy on 24 traders. You can't leave him alone. You leave him alone for half a minute and all of a sudden, he's just like sheep. There's just magically a, a, an extra sheep overnight. You don't even know where it came from. Knights on the back foot looking to get through. Should be able to pick up a couple of traders here easily. But Don now going to be defending on the front line. Things not looking good right now for Don Artie. He's going for this classic composition of Archer plus Archer plus Archer. It's never before been seen except with the Rus or with the French or with the Chinese or with the English or with the Mongols or with the Delhi. There's a lot of civilizations that like to do it, uh, but th those are pretty much it. I guess you could also say the Abbasid as well to an extent. Not really the Holy Roman Empire. They don't really like to do that, but plenty of traders getting cleaned up here. Don, unfortunately... Not doing the best to really hold onto this trade. You know what I would have loved to have seen from Don? Just a, a standard wall all, all the way along the back here. Just wall himself out. Or, or at least, you know, prevent your enemy from doing those double run-throughs, uh, which we see happening. But now Don is in a bit of strife. Holes in the walls continue to just bleed in units. We see them slowly trickling in up towards the north. Those lances just going to be getting caught out of position, unfortunately. The night numbers, or rather the, the uh, Chamber of Commerce, displays that there's only 15 traders that remain. More traders continuing to go down. But remember, as, as these units go down, Don, he's not losing units because he's got ranged units. So his numbers are starting to stack up. He's got plenty of traders in queue as well. Look at that 1,800 gold. Jeez, Don, saving for an engagement ring right now. Holy dooly, Don. You got to spend those resources, son. Speaking of resources, over on the other side, what sitting there with 2,100 resources? Where are these guys getting all these resources from? Still five relics on the map. Still three sacred sites out on the map. Nobody even thinking about religion at this point in the game. Don here with 1,600 food in the bank. Jeez Louise, he's got enough food to feed Angola. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I was just... Uh, or, or the only word that came to me was like, you know, the is it the misheard lyrics? Angola! <laughs> I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, anyway, we move forward. We continue. Still, we see these uh, these archer numbers building up. Don at the moment just making villages. He, he does not care. He's like a honey badger right now. 68 villages, 90 villages for what? Things starting to look starting to look a little bit grim for Don. I'm starting to think more and more this chamber of commerce might be a little bit of a meme rather than a dream. It, it will rather I, I think it is a meme and it remains a dream uh, at this point in time it is not going to be reality I mean it's reality in that Don did it but I, I think he might be regretting it but we do see he's got plenty of food in the bank we talked about this a little bit earlier there's always the the prospect of him just looking to drop down a uh, a, a red palace right on his enemy's doorstep now I, I would not at all be adverse to that I think that would be hilarious I, I, and honestly, in this matchup, I think it's 100% the right thing to do. You can't really tackle a red palace unless you've got those trebuchets. The trebuchets are the only thing that are going to be able to blast you through it uh, or blast through it. And your enemy, they're only making cavalry at this point. So you, you set yourself up with a red palace. That's going to be able to actually take out both of these landmarks here. So I'm all for that. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we actually see that from Don. Now, that I'm, now I'm saying it out loud, it starts to feel more real. 
But Don losing a lot of traders. Still down on 15 at the moment. Just training them non-stop. We see them continuing to come out. Abla Tree are going to get picked off. Um, towards this northern position. Plus one finally coming in for what? Just units all over this backside. Trader, unfortunately, going to be losing its life. And Don just... All he needs is just one little wall along here. One wall along there. Just a nice little wall around here. I mean, it's a big wall. But could you imagine Don just spending 100 wood on the walls on this back part? He would have saved so many lives. So, so many lives. Speaking of wood, though, Don moving out over towards that uh, that northern position. Looking to try and take down some wild spruce trees. He's going to be forcing a chop through right here. You can see that the... Yeah, the, the, all, all you knights need to do is... you just, Wait, wait, wait. I, I think they could actually run through there. You can, you can see the villagers here just working against Don Artie. Unfortunately, Don just could have come down towards this position. Maybe just even walled himself in a little bit better. He would have been fine, but now, unfortunately, it looks like those horsemen are going to be turning their attention towards that position. Towards the north, an outpost begins to come up as well. We don't see any emplacement in it just yet. We'll take a look. Yeah, what, what actually does manage to see a little bit through there, but unfortunately, that tree line is going to be more than enough to stop it. I have a tree yeah, moving up in force. You can see the numbers that he's got coming out right now. Don looking good. Don still with plenty of uh, of resources in the bank. We do see Gamerson's going to be coming in for him. It is one of the unique techs for the French. So that is going to be increasing the melee armor by five for the Arbolatrier. So now they're going to be able to defend a little bit better against those horsemen because why the heck shouldn't they? In addition to that, he's also got crossbow stirrups, which will be the age four technology he's got access to, which reduces the reload time, makes them fire a bit faster, gives them those, those little stirrups. But now Don is going to be walling up that little hole, that little pocket. You can see he was definitely struggling for wood, but has has found this little corner of the universe all to himself. 19 traders for Don. Still flooding in the gold at this point in time. Three and a half gold, or three and a half, half uh, thousand food in the bank. That's a lot of food. So the question is, where does he go from here? And we do see the villagers beginning to move. I think this is the right play. You and I both know what is coming. Don Artie is the kind of guy who likes to put dirty, dirty landmarks in the enemy's bases, and I really wouldn't be surprised to see it. But you can see the crossbows, and this is the consequence of those raids coming through. All of all of the Arbolatrias drop down their pavisson, pavi, pavissons? What's it, what is it called? Pavis. They're called the Pavis, and you, you can see that the reaction from the enemy is just to immediately run away. Even though it, it gives them ranged armor, he's like, whoa, they're all glowing gold. I got to get away from this. I don't know what it does, but I'm scared. Nice little shot coming in from the Manganel. Villagers going to be the ones pulled here. Looking to try and take down that Mango. Successful with that. Villagers still getting cleaned up, though. But with this, Don not losing his army at all. Remember, the, the horsemen don't get a bonus against villagers. They do get bonuses against ranged units, but not against villagers. So these guys are going to be great at soaking up all that damage. Second Manganel now coming out. Don got to be careful. The boar is sitting there. Potentially could be hit as well. We'll watch to wait and see how he plays it. Instead, just moving up towards that mango. He's going to be slowly and steadily piercing through the armor, but he's got more than enough. And the mango moving up. You can see he's trying to get a shot off. Hits the back line, takes out one of those Arbolatria and damages about six of them around it. Relic's slowly getting picked up as well. It looks like at the moment he's picked up. He's done a pretty good job. I, I see four relics being picked up at the moment. Uh, four what? So pretty nice effort from him down there. Looking to expand down towards that south side. He continues to move forward. Manganel coming out. More villagers moving up. Don Artie in a decent position here. But now he continues to push forward. You and I both know what is coming. It is only a matter of time before it comes. I can smell it. I can feel it. I hear it. I fear it. Do it, Don. He's, he's cashed out. All of, this, all of the food is gone. Where is it? There's the guild hall. It's all gone. And now Don looks to try and force this position. Villagers moving up. Villagers moving up. Jeez, I called that almost pixel perfect for where that red palace comes down. Look at that. You know exactly what Don Artie loves to do. And that red palace comes down. And with this, the mangonel on the backside is going to be the only thing that really has the potential to save this. Ideally, you'd love to see a couple of trebuchets come out, but Don going to be able to force this issue. Needs to try and keep his units alive. Once, the, once this Red Palace gets up, villagers can jump inside it and really help out with the weapon slits there. It's only got 5,000 health on it, so ideally you want to try and keep that bad boy alive. He's trying his best to hold on. Villagers going to be under attack as well. The Manganel doing a decent job there. Don Artie going to be looking to try and do it. The question is whether it's going to get up. It looks like it's going to get up. The Manganel shot coming in, and with that, the Red Palace getting up. Oh my lord, it's close. Everybody jumps inside. It's only 11 villagers that remain, and with that, now you're in trouble, my friends. Now you're in trouble. The Red Palace is here, and it means business. Now, hopefully you've got trebuchets coming out. Indeed, you've got trebuchets coming out. But now you've got <laughs> now you've got problems. The Red Palace will kill everything, and I mean everything, instantly. It evaporates every... Look, <laughs> 
It's so stupid. It's so stupid. It's perfectly balanced. There's nothing wrong with it. And now we can see how much damage it's actually putting in through here. I wouldn't be surprised if Don just literally pulls every single unit that he's got, except for his traders, of course. But, uh, but now, in the middle of the map, Don begins working down on that town center. We actually see Imperial Age coming through as well for his enemy. Uh, so what is going to be going to Imperial? And with that, increasing the health on his House of Wisdom from 12k. I think it goes up to 19k. Maybe it goes up... Yeah, I'm going to go with 19k. No, actually 21k is what I'm going to go with. Let's see. Not 19. 19. 19. Here we go. Here we go. 17? 17? I can't even count that high. Manganel getting some shots off. Trebuchet firing off as well. Manganel instantly deleted. You can see Don just reacting straight away. Nice little raid over on that backside. Delaying Don. Villagers down to the south getting attacked by the wolf. Don going to be holding on in this central location. He spots the trebuchets coming out. With that, the keep going to be coming up and looking to defend the trebs as well. First town center is going to be getting worked down. It's down to 1,700 health and it's begun to burn. Village is now going to be jumping out of the Red Palace and Don really committing right now. I mean, at this point in time, I don't know if I can claim that the Chamber of Commerce is overpowered, but yo, guys, the Chamber of Commerce, it's busted and it's totally happening and it's 100% legit. But also, uh, Don is he's kind of going all in here. Red Palace is really committing hard. I don't know how Don's going to be able to hold this, though. I, I can't help but feel like this is, this is only a matter of time before it goes down. Don, moving forward, though, Elite Arbolatria coming out for him. He's also got Veteran Royal Knight, so these guys could look to try and turn the table. In the middle of the map, that keep is up, but remember that as long as those trebuchets go down, then Don Artie should be in a decent position because the primary factor here is those trebuchets. And you can see the Trebs now going to get healed up by that passive that comes through from our Abbasid player. And it looks like good game going to get called. What taps out? Don Artie victorious. The Red Palace wins. And not only that, but the Chamber of Commerce keeps its secrets for one more game. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this game. We'll catch you guys in the next one. And check out Don. I'll leave a link in the description.